Hey, a pleasant good day, goaltender fans. This is going to be the next video of goalie hype. I just did one on Ivan Fedotov signing with the Flyers. This one's going to be on Strauss Mann, and yes, that is his name, signing with the San Jose Sharks. As the San Jose Sharks add to their goaltender pool, as Strauss Mann, the former standout from Michigan University that was a stud there in 1920 and in 2021, and of course was one of the goaltenders to make it for USA as well, and was a standout with AIK in the SHL in Sweden where I've got to watch a couple of his games on the hockey TV thing that I'm able to um, subscribe to and be able to watch some of the foreign games over there. And he still looks like the calm, cool, collected kid from Michigan in net, even in, I would say, probably the third-ranked professional league in the world. It would go NHL, KHL, and then there's debates there for which one will be next. The league is up there, but but I would say that probably is the third rank. But either way, one of the top five leagues in the entire world. He went to be a professional and he was a stud. He was a stud in his games in the postseason as well. Uh, Strauss Mann is a guy that definitely has the resume to be able to get signed out of Greenwich, Connecticut as an undrafted cat and be able to maybe become the next Logan Thompson. That's a very good undrafted goaltender that's looking like he's going to be good for the Knights. Uh, Strauss Mann, and I've done some videos on him as well if you want to go back and check him out on Thompson, but Strauss Mann was brilliant at Michigan. Obviously, they're a team that's televised a lot. Michigan is a brilliant uh, hockey college, and uh, he was great there in cage for them. And you don't play over 20 games. You don't play over 30 games like he did in 1920 if you're not brilliant in cage for Michigan because that's how high the expectations are if you're not just in cage but playing in their starting lineup for the Wolverines, and, and, and obviously expectedly so with how great their program is. But he then goes to Sweden, does fantastic. He's a sound goaltender. His The, the, the reason he was undrafted is in, in the era that people are starting to love the fill-out-the-cage goaltenders, which makes sense because when it comes to the perception and, and the reality of things, when a guy fills out the cage more, most likely he's going to be able to make more saves, but he also still has to be very nimble in net and be able to be <clears throat> pretty good with his horizontal movements and be able to be pretty good with his reflexes and mobility as a whole, where certain guys that are the bigger guys that get drafted, we see they don't fit into that category, and then other guys do, and do exceptionally well that are obviously bigger net minders as well, but Strauss Mann fits into the category of guys that don't fill out the entire net. He's only six feet tall, but he's one of those really good, nimble goaltenders that moves really well in net, is very athletic, knows when to kind of stay up a little bit more, kind of like Quick, but obviously I'm not saying this man's going to be as good as Jonathan Quick, don't get me wrong, but kind of like how Jonathan Quick is able to know when not to go down as much and when to stay up to cover more of the net. Strauss Mann, when you watch him at Michigan and in the... Uh, SHL reminds you a bit of that where he's kind of able to gauge when to be the butterfly and when to go fully down in the butterfly and when to stay up more because obviously he doesn't have the biggest size as quick as only an inch taller than him so when it comes to player style comparison that's all I was making I don't think Strauss Mann is going to necessarily become Jonathan Quick. That would be a ridiculous comparison and Quick's one of my favorite goat goalies of all time I have a bobblehead of the man right over there but I'm saying I think the way he plays and knows how to gauge whether he should be up more and play more of the kind of old school don't go butterfly style or go down in the butterfly, uh, I, I think that reminds me a little bit of Johnny. That's all I was saying. I don't, but his resume is great. His style of play I think is great. Just because he's not the biggest cat, I don't think that means he's not going to potentially be a great goaltender, especially for the Barracuda and then build his way up from there, which they've been doing a solid job at building their goaltenders up recently, in my own opinion. I still like Solchenko and a couple other kids in the Shark system, so I think adding Strauss Mann was a very good decision by the San Jose Sharks, because you can never have enough good goaltending. Uh, you have to have these kids here. They brought in Kokkinen, obviously, who's still a young netminder himself, and uh, obviously they also have, like I mentioned, Solchenko. They have Edmund, who they picked in... Uh, in the 18 draft, and then they just signed Strauss Mann, plus also have Magnus Krona, who they were able to get, and also Benjamin Gaudreau, who they were able to uh, pick up at the 81th pick of the 2021 draft. So I think they really are building the goaltending swimmingly 
in San Jose, and Straussmann is just another key piece to add to that building of the goaltending. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a great offseason, Sharks fans. Your team is already making some good signings, getting Straussmann, who was a stud at Michigan and a stud in the SHL in his first season. Peace out, everybody. Continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy use widget to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. Thanks, everybody. Really appreciate your love and support. Peace out.